My daughter is five, and I've noticed that she spends a lot of time playing by herself or making up imaginary stories. Sometimes I worry that she's not focused enough on learning activities or developing quote-unquote real skills. Should I be encouraging her to do more structured things, or is this type of play actually good for her development? Great question. Play is so important for children. So, so, as a matter of fact, a recent study done by, I believe, Vanderbilt found that children who receive pre-kindergarten academic training are more likely in their future to have learning disabilities diagnosed, to have school behavioral problems develop, and to have greater likelihood of negative social skills because that academic training is too academic and not enough about the play. And there's a lot of different reasons and a lot of different uh, theories about why that might be, but the research is really showing that we are pushing kids way too hard, way too fast, and that really concerns people like me who know and believe that play is so important for kids. Play helps children in many ways. But one of the ways that it helps children is by helping the different parts of their brain work together. As adults, we have this part of our brain that's called the prefrontal cortex. And the prefrontal cortex helps to synthesize information and coordinate information between the different lobes of the brain and between the different regions. Well, children don't really have access to that part of the brain. Children's brains, the prefrontal cortex, isn't fully developed. And as a matter of fact, that part of the brain doesn't connect until around age 12, and it's not fully connected until around age 25. So all those skills that the prefrontal cortex does of synthesizing, coordinating, and connecting all the different parts of the brain, we have to do that manually for children, or they have to find a way to manually do it for themselves. Play is the best way to manually have all those pieces of the brain work together. Because if a child is touching something and smelling something and looking at something and hearing it, all those parts of the brain are working together at one task rather than just them hearing information and trying to retain it. It lights up more of the brain, which causes more connectivity, which builds synapses faster, which makes memory last longer, stick deeper, and have more connections so that it pops up in their daily lives as well. Play is so important. And you say your daughter is five. If your daughter is five, let her play her heart out. <laughs> let her play, 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 play. Let her do imaginary play. Let her do physical play where she's just running around. Let her do all the types of play. Let her just play, 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 play. That will help her brain develop so much better than just sitting down and focusing on what you have called quote unquote real skills. And I don't just mean playing on screens. I mean real messy fall out of a tree and break your wrist sometimes play. That's the type of play that kids need the most and here's something to understand and something to consider video games and electronics are constantly putting information into our brains or into the brains of our children play is how children get some of that information out and it's how they use that information so if your child is constantly scrolling or constantly playing a video game all that information is going in, but there's no like pressure release valve that's helping it be able to come out. That's a problem. It's got to be able to come out, and play is a way to do that. Play also helps kids to test out new ideas and test out different things so that they can see what works and what doesn't. It helps them be able to make mistakes and learn from them. It helps them be able to try out new concepts in safe ways. Play is so, so important for our kids, and we've got to make sure that we build that more into their lives 
because it helps with so many things across all of their development and it is vital. We have got to do more play and the studies are showing we are focusing so much on school and so much on academics and so much on just getting ready to be able to take the tests and do math and read and while those things are important, we have taken play away and the results are showing that that is causing a lot of problems for our kids. Let your children play. I will scream that from the rooftops. Let your children play. Thank you so much for writing in. And that's one of the reasons that in my book, Putting the Pieces Together, Understanding and Supporting Children with Autism Spectrum Disorder, it's one of the reasons why play is such an important thing for all children and especially those who have any type of mental health diagnosis because it helps light up different parts of the brain and it helps them coordinate and synthesize and really work together.